In this video, we are showing you a spike prime solution for solving mission 1 called Innovation Project Model and mission 13 called Power 2X from this year's FLL Super Powered Robot Game. And we are showing you a solution for mission 15, Rechargeable Battery with the EV3. These three missions are all very simple. The Innovation Project Model and Power to X missions can be easily solved at the same time. In Mission 1, points are awarded if your Innovation Project model meets the building requirements per the rulebook and is at least partially placed in the Hydrogen Plant target area which is the large oval in the middle of the field. In Mission 13, you earn points for each energy unit that is placed completely in the same target as the Innovation Project model in Mission 1. And in Mission 15, you score points for each energy unit that is completely in the rechargeable battery target area, which is the rounded rectangle next to the toy factory. Our Spike Prime attachment for Missions 1 and 13 is a rigid attachment with two axles sticking out of the front. The axles keep the Innovation Project model and the energy units from rolling away on the mat as the robot pushes them across the playing field. For our spike solution, we assume that we've already collected three energy units from another mission earlier, for example the solar farm. Our robot launches from the left red launch area and simply pushes the innovation project model and the energy units completely into the target area. For solving mission 15, rechargeable battery with our EV3, we simply use the bumper attachment that we have shown you in some of our other videos. In order to deliver the energy units to the rechargeable battery target area, we again assume that we have already collected energy units from another mission earlier, for example the wind turbine. Our EV3 launches from the right blue launch area and drives in a straight line directly to the rechargeable battery target area. It pushes the energy units with its bumper. If your innovation model is built from at least two white LEGO pieces and measures four LEGO studs in one direction, and is placed at least partially in the hydrogen target area, you can earn 10 points from Mission 1. For every energy unit that is completely in the hydrogen plant target area at the end of the match, you score 5 points each. However, you only get points for a maximum of 3 energy units, so 15 points. This means that it's not worth to place more than 3 energy units here. Combined, you can achieve a total of 25 points for missions 1 and 13. It doesn't say anywhere in the rules that the innovation project model or the energy units cannot touch anything else, so if they do touch each other or even other equipment, that should be okay. Every energy unit that is completely in the rechargeable battery target area at the end of the match scores 5 points. Like in all other missions where you have to deliver energy units, you can also only earn points for a maximum of 3 energy units here, for a total of 15 points in the rechargeable battery mission.